The plan to produce business process is fully supported by Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013. Now once we've planned and produced or procured materials, one of the things that comes into question is what about serialization and lot tracking? Well in this demonstration we're going to view a scenario in which both serialization and lot tracking come into play. So please click on the box Lot and Serialization Tracking to begin the demonstration. In order to demonstrate the capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013, what we want to do is walk through a particular scenario. In this scenario, what's happened is a vendor has called us and they've let us know that one of the items they supply to us is defective. Now this item happens to be lot controlled. So what we want to do is understand where that item is or what we've used that item for. And in particular, this item is used in the production of a finished good that we sell to customers and that finished good happens to be serialized. Go ahead and click on the drop down arrow for the I need to field. Now the material we're tracking is lock control. So select Find All Transactions for a lot number. And now we need to enter the item number for the defective procured lot controlled item. So let's go ahead and enter that item number. Okay, let's revisit our scenario. A vendor's called us. They shipped an item into us. It is a lot controlled item. The item's defective, specifically this lot, lot number three, of this particular item is defective. We need to understand what happened to that item. What did we do with it? Well, we can tell from the display that it was used in a manufacturing order. Specifically, we see the information on the screen, manufacturing, order, receipt, entry. Because of that, we want to understand what item was produced with this defective, lot controlled, procured component. Please click the View BOM Trace button. Now a couple things I want to call to your attention in the Serial Lot Bill of Materials Trace window. The top is the trace type. This is produced from the Serial Lot. We could also be looking the other direction. In other words, we could be looking at a finished good and understand what that finished good was made out of. But we're going to work it in the other direction. We're looking at a component level item that's lot controlled and we know that there's a receipt. So let's go ahead and click on this RCT0017 because we want to understand where was this lot controlled material used. Okay, the picture's becoming clearer. And let's recap. A vendor has sent us material. That material is lot controlled, that material is defective, and the vendor has let us know which lot is defective. We've traced this particular lot into the production of a serialized item. The serialized item is represented on the screen, and because I've expanded the record, I know that this serialized item was shipped out on a particular invoice. STD INV 2268. Now this is really scary because I now have that linkage between the lot controlled defective component and the serialized end item which is now in the hands of a customer. And what we need to do is take action on that. So what I'd like you to do next is go ahead and click the STD INV 2268 line. By clicking on the invoice number, and again, this invoice number is related to the finished good that we shipped to a customer. Now remember, that finished good was produced with a particular component. That component is lot controlled, and that component is defective. We need to inform the customer that they now have a finished good with a defective component. And this is after the fact. This is after we've shipped them the finished good. So what we want to do is look at the information on the screen we see that we have the invoice number of the particular shipment or sales order and we can see from the master ID field that it's going to a, a customer Aaron Fit 0001. What I'd like you to do is click on the hyperlink master ID. Now we need to contact this customer as soon as possible. 
So the next thing I'd like you to do is click on the Customer Maintenance button. Now that we are able to trace the lot controlled defective procured item through production into the serialized finished good and shipment to the customer, Dynamics GP 2013 provides us the mechanism to quickly understand who that customer is, specifically the contact, and what their phone number is. Because the next step is going to be to call the customer and resolve the problem. Part of the plan to produce business process within Microsoft Dynamics Cheat P2013 includes the ability to do lot and serialization tracking. What we've seen in this example is a scenario where we were able to track a lot controlled procured item through production that was used in a serialized finished good that finished good was shipped to a particular customer and not only did GP 2013 allow us to view that tracking capability but it gave us quick access to be able to contact that customer so we can resolve the issue. Now if you'd like to see this demonstration again please click on the lot and serialization tracking box.